Bose back for another beer review from the City of Ales. So this is the uh, Joppa, oh sorry, Hallertau Joppa Stout. Um, this beer actually won the Sober uh, New Zealand Homebrew um, Championship. That was the champion beer, sorry. So this is uh, brewed by Barbara Joppa, I understand. It's a 5.5% um, dry stout. Um, you can just found the roasty roastiness coming off the top. Yeah, it's very, very dry on the palate. Uh, very nice. It's um, uh, they describe it as a classic uh, dry stout, and I definitely, um, definitely agree with that. Very nice. Cheers, guys. Okay, so I'm with uh, Barbara and Joppa for the National Homebrew Championship for the half hour. Yep. Um, very nice. It settles a little bit sweeter than the commercial version of the Yeah, homebrew. yeah, so the, the brew that the Hollands had is slightly bit sweeter than the, the batch that I made that I entered. Yeah. Um, but I actually think that it, Get two it doesn't detract from the overall quality of the, the recipe. I think that it turned out really, really nice. Hey guys, back for another with another beer. This is the Liberty Brewing Darkest Days uh, Oatmeal Stout, uh, six percent. Beautiful smelling beer. It's a nice roast malt um, aroma coming off the top. Yeah, these these are the glasses <laughs> they've um, handed out. So a nice solid solid glass rather than plastic. Uh, 200 mil pours they're doing. <laughs> yeah, but very nice. I'll just uh, swing the camera around. So we're actually on a floating pavilion out in the harbour here. Uh, it was very windy for most of the week, but luckily the winds died down, so we're not getting blown around too much. Okay, back for another uh, beer review. So this is the um, Garage Project. Uh, Salvin Nouveau. Uh, so this is an eight and a half percent um, Pilsner. Uh, it's made with uh, Nelson Salvin hops and also it's fermented with uh, Sauvignon Blanc. Um, uh, I think it's uh, wine. Interesting, interesting beer. Looks very weak, but um, believe me, it uh, tastes, tastes quite strong. So yeah, very nice. What's your name? Andrew Charles. Oh, I know your name. Yep. Yep. Recognise you, sir. Do you want to say anything to Paul? Hey, Paul. How's it going, mate? <laughs> Drinking a barrel aged Otis here. And uh, it's tasting pretty delish. Um, good luck with East Shape Paul. This man behind you with the camera is wearing a sweet t shirt of yours. Good. Yep. Good man. Alright. Cheers. Have a good one. Cheers. Thank you. Okay, so this is the steam brewing Turian Imperial Stout, ten and a half percent. Um, Carl says very nice. He doesn't want his face on video. So. Nice. Yeah. I like it. Yeah, you like it? If you like uh, a port, if you like this, um, yeah. this beer, it's, it's been aged in uh, American oak barrels for three months. Oh, nice. It says it's coffee, chocolate, rum with dried fruits. It's all yeah. that's quite nice. Very tasty. You're going to be on video now, Carl. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers. Oh, I like it. It's all one of you. Same. I got the same. How does that compare to the Mike's Whiskey Porter? I didn't go much on the whiskey porter. Yeah, look, that one's nicer. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. 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 The whiskey was just not a beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah. This is the Croucher Lowrider. It's a 2.7%. Uh, I think they're calling it a session IPA. So yeah, it's got plenty of hot aroma coming off the top. That's oh, very nice.
It's a little bit thin in the body, but I guess you'd expect that with a two and a two point seven percent. But yeah, if you're looking for a low alcohol beer, um, yeah, definitely give it a look. Hey guys, back for another beer review from the uh, City of Vales. Um, so yeah, just before I start, overall the um, the festival is really, really good. It's quite a small festival compared to the Auckland um, beer festival, but overall it's a it's a much better. Go on, yes. just be in the video if you, that's all right. Um, but overall, it's a it's a more intimate, um, yeah, better, better quality of beers. I'd say they've got a better beer list here than the beer festival. Um, there's some one-off brews that I haven't seen before, so it's been yeah, it's been really good. So anyway, back to this. I've got the Ismith Menage a Trois IPA. Uh, it's a 6.6% per, 6 .6 um, IPA. Uh, just reading the blurb here, it's, it's a barrel fermented American IPA using 100%, you're going to have to apolog, um, accept my apologies for this, Brett Anonymous Seas Troy's Yeast, uh, lightly dry hot with Cinnacoe and Amarillo. Uh, the resultant beer is slightly tart with huge mango, pineapple and sour citrus aromas and flavours. Um, it says it's a sorted love triangle of yeast, malts and hops. Enjoy this limited release while it lasts. It's a very nice beer. It, I can definitely pick up the sourness. Um, it's hoppy but it's not like punch in the face hoppiness. A little bit of dryness there as well, um, but a, yeah, very very nice beer. So, um, so this is the Panhead uh, Vindicator, seven and a half percent red ale. Uh, it's very nice. 